that wall over right there. Where at? To the east! To the east! 200 meters! 200 meters! Then they're all over the place. Reloading. We've been inundated with heartbreaking messages from people desperate, pleading with us to give them some assistance to try and get out of the country. These are American passport holders, these are Afghans who've got all their right papers, who've tried to get through the checkpoints and have been physically beaten back by the Taliban. Urgent attempts to escape outside the Kabul airport. 15,000 Americans and up to 60,000 Afghans who've helped the US desperate to leave the country. One shocking moment as an infant can be seen handed to U.S. troops over the razor-wired wall. With more than 5,200 U.S. troops already on the ground at the airport, officials say they're upping efforts to process and evacuate the thousands of Americans and Afghans who've helped the U.S. Officials saying that overnight there were 20 flights lined up to get people out the country. This as some planes have been departing with empty seats because people can't get through Taliban-run checkpoints on their way to the airport. Airport. We've got additional consular officers now at these additional gates with additional troops helping the consular officers. The American citizen David Fox is stuck in Kabul with his wife and child, desperate to leave the country. At one point, making it to the airport but getting turned away. We decided on the advice of my State Department friend to make it a run for the airport. I actually got whacked with the um, you know, with one of these, like, you know, fan belts for not moving fast enough. And it's not just Americans desperate to get out. There are reports that Taliban officials are now conducting door-to-door -door searches for people who worked with U.S. allied forces.